I'm back in the dirt. <laughs> I'm back living in the dirt again, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Uh, <laughs> I moved out of that little starter house because it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> in fact, yeah, I've started to work on this area. So I've started opening this up using my destruction gadgets to just delete huge sections here because I want to make this side, this end here, a bigger version of a hole than these two. So this is going to be my main living area with all of my toys, all of my bits and pieces. Actually, I should put my elytra on. So down into here, I've actually come down and I've put a mega torch and one of these feral lanterns and started to open up this cave to do a little bit of uh, terraforming. So I want to open these bits up a little bit more and uh, probably bring it across to more like this side here and this side over here by rounding it out a little bit and making it look a little bit more natural. And we're going to turn this into a giant hall. Like think Mines of Moria from, uh, from Lord of the Rings. Huge pillars framing either side, bringing us back into this whole underground section and then we can have little rooms off the side and little areas sort of put around uh for all of our bits and pieces all of our crafting and smelting and these things and all of that so i've got my little power set up here again i don't know whether i've ever shown it off completely but right now it's just two blazing thermo generators on top of some blazing crystal blocks i think they're called block of blazing crystal with this NSL in the middle, which you unlock when you unlock the building gadgets. If we have a look over here, it says unlocks building gadgets and NSL. And the NSL mod is literally just this. It's a million FE storage cell. So for now, that was a nice, simple way for me to get that power. And that's how I charge my devices. But that is all set up now, ready. There we go. For uh, me to charge my building gadgets and go to town in here. <sighs> yeah, I've got some work to do. <laughs> I've got some work to do. I may even want to move all of this stuff a little bit further away, open it up even more. But yeah, I think the main thing that I want to do here is bring these lines forward a little bit and then work on that curve slightly and just make it feel like that section was always designed to be part of this middle bit. So from up here, we've got the lovely sort of built-in paths and whatnot, and all of that I want to transition down into, into here. And I kind of want to open it up a little bit more so that I get like a really nice, um, really nice view inside there. So that means probably removing a little bit more height up the top, but we'll, uh, we'll do it like a little bit more rounded, give it some structure. And I'm going to try and blend it together with the uh, with the cave look. So it's kind of like it was half carved into the cave, but not entirely. Yeah, I really hope I can bring my vision to life. But with all that being said, I actually do have nine unspent skill points to spend. And I'm going to take refined storage. I was looking through the comments. I could take create. I could do a bunch of different things, but I don't really need iron furnaces when if I take create, I can cook things pretty simply as well as a lot of these as well. There are these ones, which I might start to aim for after I've unlocked refined storage and create. But for now, I can go that, elevators, and trash cans. So I now have all of the quality of life unlocks, nearly, well, all of the storage unlocks that I'm going to get. I'm not going to worry about getting the applied energistics or mechanism QIO. So we've got refined storage. And if we go over here, I already have two more knowledge stars just from bits that I had still lying in my system. So with those two, um, I don't know. I think I might save it. I think I might save those to go towards there. Livia on this server already has botany pots. Princess Lizzie has easy villages and Mumu Face has easy piglins. Plus Elaine has Gagerium. So a lot of those are already sort of covered and I could just purchase those items from them and save my knowledge points for something like a bigger backpack upgrade or uh, any of these things really. <laughs> so with that, 
Let's have a quick look at what refined storage costs, and then I might slip into a good amount of building. Oh, I just realized. Arcade leggings and trash helmet. Huh. We've got some new transmogs. We might need to make a transmog table soon and have a look at all that gear. So, for refined storage, I want to get myself a controller, which is genuinely not that bad to make, and a grid, which is also not that bad to make. Now, making myself a crafting grid, on the other hand, could be a little bit... Huh, is that a new recipe? I don't actually mind that. Echo-wise, that's really nice. Oh. Okay, what about disk drives? Black chromatic, that's not too bad again. 1K, 4K, 16K is where it gets expensive. Okay, so the 16K is definitely an expensive one. All right, interesting. So I probably have a little bit to do. Oh, actually, hold on. There's something new that we have on the server. I don't have any sunflowers. I'm sure Lissy does. Lissy added a little thing after purchasing Botania where, sorry for stealing, uh, sunflower? Did Lissy keep them on her? Maybe they're over in the area. This little Botania area here, oh, I went through the portal, has this guy, Teru Teru Bozu. Teru, and to I'm going to find a flower. There we go. <laughs> so, if we come over to this guy while it's raining and feed that little sunflower, it cleans up the rain. How cute is that? Oh, this is looking fancy. Lissy getting into a little bit of the Batania, crafting up some stuff, using modular routers and all sorts. Very cool. But one thing that I was thinking before I start crafting my refined storage stuff is... I have a bunch of treasure key pieces and what I could do is make myself some blank keys and I have 47 Iskalium. Maybe we run a treasure room or two first before we start to uh, start investing in it because there is a small chance that we could get ourselves a crafting grid or some discs or anything along those lines. So that might be next episode. But for now, I'm going to settle in, spend the rest of my day and probably evening working on terraforming this out, cleaning it up, and seeing if I can make myself a nice big haul. So, uh... Hacha! <laughs> Progress! Yeah! I now have this giant hallway. It's still a work in progress. Still absolutely a work in progress. But I've started to work out how I want things set up in here while keeping the beauty of our lush cave. So if I pop into this here, you can see that I've terraformed this area down. Actually, let's have a proper look from up top. Terraformed that down a little bit. And as you can see, done what I was talking about with the, the walls there. And now we have this view all the way down into these giant caves. I love that uh, eventually we'll reach the point where my base is long enough that you'll get that fog effect in there, which is really cool. But this is the new location of my waystone. And just here, we have an elevator block because I purchased elevators and we can come down onto this main level. I've started to split up the uh, walkways into areas where I can have rooms and such, like different purpose rooms on those sides. And I think that back here, I'm going to create a sheltered cave area that has my main workstation. So things like all of these uh, vault forges and modification tables and blah, 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 those will be down there as well as eventually my refined storage crafting grid. The crafting grid can go right in the middle, easily accessible. And I have a few ideas for some stuff that I'm going to do. So we might work on that. And uh, we might have some separate rooms and stuff to make on the side. And of course, these are all just done in a very basic format. I haven't gone and added cracked or changes in the, uh, in the textures or anything like that. For now, it has purely been just much like these, getting the shapes in. I want to get a lot of this stuff built up shape-wise and then go back over with a detailing pass. So for now, just getting these in in a way that allows me to see the size and scale and start to work with different rooms. Like obviously these walls are still very flat and same with that and the same over there. I'll probably uh, start to terraform those down once I've moved a few things. 
And I want to have little walkways going up across the top too. So different layers. We can have rooms down here as well as rooms up top for different purposes, different farms, anything. But with all that being said, I am really happy with this, by the way. I think this looks really cool. Lots of room to uh, move around, plus the scale just feels awesome. We might even put like a crystal or something in the middle of this pond, I think would be really cool. I'll have to see how I feel and what I can come up with. But this is about uh, 10 to 12 hours of work. It may not look like it, especially since uh, it was including using building gadgets. But uh, the amount of time that I spent working on cleaning all of this up and making sure that things were in the right space and, and just brainstorming, terraforming this, most of that was done by hand without the building gadgets and all of this as well. Uh, I've been building a lot, like a lot, a lot, and I need a break. So while I did say that we were maybe going to uh, do those treasure runs in the next episode, I think we might do them now. We might make ourselves some keys and see if we can find some rooms. So, blah, 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 blah. all of that can go. I'll take that crossbow back, and I'm going to set myself up, hopefully, <laughs> with... Oh, they are expensive, aren't they? Oh, interesting. Okay, so what can I make here? I'm pretty sure I have a decent amount of uh, chromatic steel, but it's the, uh, the black opal, so I'm just going to make four for now. And I'm going to make two, three, four of those. Yes, okay, I can just do that. Then two of these. I don't want to use all of my uh, Echo Gems, so we're only going to go two. And then I can craft two of those. Next, I can uh, make one of those and one of those. They're a little bit more expensive now. They used to only cost four of the key pieces per, but that's, uh, that's okay. We've still got plenty. And now I need to decide which ones I'm going to do. And I think, I think it's probably best to go with my higher value ones. Yeah. So we're definitely going to do an Escalium. Actually, I should quickly check. It requires a cluster, which also requires Black Opal. Okay. How are we doing Black Opal wise? 69? Nice. So two of those will make an Escalium cluster. And... Hmm... What do we want to do? Do I just go for a pizza night or do I go for a different color? Huh. Keeping in mind that I do want to make myself an Omega Pog, I need at least eight of any of these to make the Pogs that are required. Just in case. And by Omega Pog, I mean Echo Pog. Did I say one or the other? Who knows? So I don't want to go any lower. Mm, Iskel and Stress. I'm just doing it. We're going to make a Gorgonite key and an Escalium key. Now, I believe they're just combined in a standard anvil now. Do I have an anvil? I might not. I do. I keep putting it away, apparently. So there's one of those. Okay. And one of those. I have a crystal ready. Do I have a soul flame? I think we might make one. Do I not have a Wither Skeleton Skull? Okay. That's fine. Princess Lissy has made a Willis Skelly farm already, and I'm sure she wouldn't mind me going to grab one or two of those. So let's head over there. Oh, I gotta get used to the fact that, ooh, one, I'm not wearing Elytra right now, and two, my, uh, my waystone's in a different position. Now, the way that we get there is a little interesting. I don't think it has a waystone set up yet, although it might now. But, if we pop through here, Lissy set up a way where it doesn't actually cost us any XP to travel between because we come through the portal here and then step onto, yeah, this little plate. And this brings us over to her little work area nearby the farm. So, uh, yeah, she's done a crazy amount of work removing most of the structure around here, using some mega torches that I made for them and uh, creating this area here where if I grab this, we can kill up a bunch of these guys. Actually, I should probably take my magnet off, which needs healing. But they pour in at a ridiculous rate. And before Lissy had access to modular routers, we provided some to allow this to all be set up. So uh, heaps and heaps of bones already. Anything that is extra goes into this chest and... Oh, that's cool. I believe there is a little deposit down here. Yep. They just shoot extra swords out. 
but there's 204 in there. Let's see whether we can just go until an extra one pops up so that I don't feel like I'm stealing as much. Oh, I've got three in my inventory. <laughs> okay. I've got five now. Six now. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty good farm. <laughs> if we go up here, we can see that they are being pushed through by a bunch of different devices. Some plates that she managed to get from a watering trader. And they pour in through these sections. Super nice design. Super efficient. And then this sword here has 79% sweeping edge chance. Delicious. And I think the, uh, the healing cloud also damages them, so... That's good. Okay, we've added 10 to that. That's really nice. I think we should be good to go. Oh, uh, let's just put those few that I grabbed in there and they'll drop at the bottom. Very, very nice. So let's do that. We can head back through that to the portal and without much difficulty, we're, uh, we're heading back to base. I love this area. Lissy's build here is so pretty. They've also got some other things going on here. <laughs> they call this a starter base, but yeah. Converting a lot of this into their own style, which is really nice. So, <laughs> back at our new location where we spawn in through this uh, stone there. And I now have what I need to make us an afterlife crystal. Or an afterlife flame. What are they called now? Soul flame. <laughs> so, I am going to add that on there because... I'm going to take both of these keys in and search pretty much purely for the doors. Uh, might want to repair our magnet too. The reason I'm repairing this magnet is because I, uh, I got really lucky with adding durability to it, added velocity, and I got teleporting of the items. So it's a, it's a really, really nice magnet and it's picked up thousands and thousands of, <laughs> of blocks doing all of this. So I feel like I should keep it for a little while. We'll grab uh, this just in case it ends up being a scav and grab my special shulker box and my healing flask and my water <laughs> and some food. Okay. <laughs> that seems all nicely set up. Let's do it. Okay. It's afterlife, so we don't necessarily have to worry too much. Uh, I've got a bunch of bones in there that I don't necessarily... Uh, they'll be fine. Uh, let's go. Um... Oh no. Is this a void theme? Oh no. There is corundum. So I'm going to grab those. But, uh... Oh! Okay. Okay. Things are starting off a little interesting. I've never seen this theme before, but it could be a void theme. So, we will be a little bit careful. But... Oh, two. And I don't have any. We might... Mm, no, we'll continue on and we'll see whether or not we get lucky with our, um, our rooms and we can come back to this one. Last thing I want to do is spend too much time there and waste it. Okay, that is the bad stuff. If I dropped into there, I believe that I would lose time. So, yeah, we're not doing that. But at the same time, this is also a, uh, a new version of the bosses or the obelisks. So in the past, those obelisks were uh, to fight a boss and you had to collect them all. Oh my. Uh, this is an interest. Okay, this is... I'm, I'm scared. I'm... This is terrifying. This is not the kind of uh, vault I wanted for finding myself uh, rooms. Oh... I should look for rooms. I should look and see whether or not there's any rooms, but I need to be very careful of those uh, those pools of water. De oh, man. Um, there's a door over there. It looks like it's um, a sparkle team. I am kind of tempted in this one to go back to the first room, loot it, and, uh, and bail on this vault. I'm not prepared. I'm just not ready. I don't wanna. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> we will look one more room ahead and just have a quick, uh, quick squeeze. I'll take some of that too, just in case I can grow the stuff. Well, this is afterlife. Let's try it. Okay. They don't hit too hard. I am still on, uh, easy difficulty. So I will, uh, probably switch back to normal, but I'm not going to do that mid vault. Okay. 
Okay, right, so you can see how many are going to spawn. That's interesting. That's a little scary, but it's manageable. Just got to be a little careful. All right, I'm going to pop up here, deal with this uh, shulker, apparently. Where is it? Oh, shulkers in the, in the vaults themselves. That's terrifying. How do I deal with this? Okay, we just, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, what is that? What is, it stop, it mimicked my. <laughs> that was terrifying. It just stole my goods. Luckily we afterlifed that. <laughs> Holy moly. So, void vaults, scary. Whew. <laughs> well, that was, uh, that was exciting. Uh, it was a cooked vault anyway. Oh, I've already got one on there, okay. <laughs> Let's make up another crystal and we'll try that again. All right. I just need a few more cocoa beans or cacao beans, cocoa beans. And I think that if I just quickly duck over to Livs, who's actually streaming right now, uh, <laughs> we might be able to find some in her botany pot. So I'm just going to sneak out this way and, uh, and head on over. This is her lovely little hobbit hole section. And just over this way, is a botany pot section, which, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> there's enough. I'm going to grab two stacks. So this has most of the, uh, the main types of flowers and different bits and pieces that we would need. Things like the, uh, spore blossoms in a plenty and everything really, as well as things like this, which is kind of cool, but that's wonderful. Now I just, uh, I sneak away. Wonderful. Let's afterlife this and try again. All right. Afterlife, this time we'll succeed. <laughs> Hopefully not a void vault again. Well, only slightly better. <laughs> but it is monoliths, and I really do like how they've added the monoliths at the top now. So, let's see if we can find either a Gorgonite or an Escalium treasure door. Now, I'm mostly going to focus on running unless I see like a... Oh, God. Unless I see like a really nice point of interest... Or, for example, if it just happens to present itself to me like this, where it fizzled out. But mostly I'm going to be looking for the doors. Still can't get over that mimic. Morty. Whoa! What in the heck was that? <laughs> you were so fast. This is pretty rough though. Two kind of rough vault uh, themes in a row. Nasty. <laughs> oh, is this one of the new ore rooms? Maybe? <sighs> It looks like it. Oh, this is nice. Okay, that's not. <laughs> but it did sound like that was a fizzle. Did I get that? I did. Let's see what we get. Bombing night. Oh, wow. Look at the size of these deposits. Gorgonite. Apolline. Hello? This is incredible. I do like that they've seemed to be fizzles so far. Meaning that I don't necessarily have to find it inside these deposits somewhere, but oh, satisfying. Okay, this is a really good way to distract the player from uh, continuing on, but look at all those unique ores. It's great. The ore situation did feel a little bit needing, and I know that they had plans for this, and I love this. Look at the black opal. Oh, delicious. Plus, I have copiously on my uh, my vault pickaxe here, so there is a chance that I am doubling what I get, but also a chance that I'm not. Also, this vault is very dark, so I apologize. I'll try and edit it so that we can only really see what's going on in the bright sections. Also, <laughs> have I seen any, any doors? I haven't even been focusing. Treasure room? Let's have a look down below. Ooh. This is also Monster Souls, okay. This is also the uh, the new look for God Altars. Uh, break, 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 break. It did not, in fact, break in time, but that's fine. I don't know whether I'll go for that one just because of the waiting game, but I'll definitely, oh my. That's pretty too. Twisted Polished Blackstone. Oh my. Oh. This room is incredible. It's, oh, it feels like such a reward for going through here. All right. But wait, there's more. Just don't know where the uh, spawner is. There it is. Okay. Huh. 
<sighs> okay. We actually got a really good amount of stuff. We only only one we haven't got is the scallium. So I'm uh, I'm just going to continue on. Uh, we found one monolith, and I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I'm going to focus. For these last 13 minutes, I'm going to focus on trying to find a treasure room door. Treasure doors. Mm, won't say no to a little bit of gilded. Oh, you guys hit so fast. Oh. Oh. Is that... Is that... Is that... It's a gorgeous night door. Okay. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Very wonderful. Let's grab that key. Oh, ho, ho, ho. My first treasure room. Okay. Cross your fingers. Okay. Not quite what I expected. A knowledge star. A generator. Some traders. A bin. Okay. Not super amazing. But, uh, not too bad either. Now, this stuff here is impressive, I believe. Let's go through and break all of this treasure sand. Because it's giving us, oh, two pogs. Let's get rid of all of this. I need to see all the treasure sand. We're gonna have to uh, put some of this away in our shulker box for sure. Now, I was coming into this without actually any knowledge of what was in there. So it's definitely possible that we might not even be able to get uh, refined storage stuff out of those chests, but a bunch of ores, we absolutely can. Two pogs, some black opal. I'm just going to put most of this away. Oh, that's full. And we've got a trash can without even having to make one. <laughs> Beautiful. What do we think the chances are of us finding an escalium room as well? Probably quite low, but I'll keep looking. I don't know whether you can get multiple rooms in the... Uh, in the one room <laughs> or the uh yeah multiple treasure rooms in the one layout so we're gonna have to uh see how we go uh, keeping in mind that i have six minutes left so i don't want to take too much time we'll check one more room i'm honestly quite happy with the uh the free knowledge star that's a nice one and uh getting the two free pogs as well it was another plus any treasure rooms five minutes remaining if we found one with four minutes left, or anything over four minutes left, I feel like I could loot it. But I don't want to push my luck much further than that. Oh god, that was a bit of a, a fall. That's a brute. Uh, okay, <laughs> that was a little bit scary. It's fine, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, maybe we uh, go down the side and start heading back. But with only uh, three and a half minutes left, I don't think I've got time to go into another room. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. This is really good. It's full of living. Uh, we'll just grab a few goodies. Just a few. Don't get greedy, though. Don't get greedy. Some skill essence. Some tomatoes. Oh, we can't. We can't hang around. I've got to get back. We've just got too much good stuff in this. We managed to get that uh, Gorgonite room as well as a bunch of ores. Yeah, we might have to just uh, try the Escalium one another day. Keep bringing it with us and uh, see whether we get lucky. Okay, out with plenty of time, nice and safe. Didn't want to risk it at all. We did it. <laughs> we successfully looted our first treasure room. And even with half the XP, we got uh, 4,200. Nicer, nicer. So, let's have a... Yeah, you've got nothing, do you? Uh, let's have a quick look at what we managed to get. In here, that is pretty good. That is nice, that is nice. The two pogs is really nice, and all of these unique gems is also fantastic. The vault alloy is nice. We don't really need the gold generator because I have a power set up, but we could gift that to someone else. But look at this. That is a lot of ores. Like, a lot of ores. <laughs> we also got some traders. Some easy villager traders, which is kind of nice. We could set up a couple for ourselves. A trash can, which is pretty cheap. But it is there. <laughs> Unidentified relic. Nice. One of these chests over here has that. 
this one. Oh, it's a new one too. And honestly, compressed redstone and block of iron at level two is also quite nice. So, um, over here, we got a lot of ores. That was like not quite the level of a mine room, but still enough that we get a really, really decent amount. Not only that, look at all of these unique ores. Hell yeah. We can get ourselves up to three of those, which, Kagerium, maybe. I'll have to think on it. I might keep saving for create or backpacks. We can roll this vault idol. My first vault idol that I've ever had in this uh, playthrough. Very nice. Tenos affinity, trap disarm, slowness, mana regen, and an empty suffix. Interesting, very interesting. And let's see what we get from all of this. Okay, 19 Benny, six bombing night, a decent amount of everything really. And those two pogs are amazing. All of that is gonna be very helpful in crafting up some materials. But I think we're gonna end the episode there. <laughs> Mostly because I was trying to focus more on the building aspect of things today rather than going into uh, refined storage. So we'll save the refined storage stuff for next episode. I might run a few more vaults and uh, and start gathering up some materials because refined storage is going to take a little bit. Like cables are not so bad, but uh, we are going to start going through the Larimar. I'm going to need to be crafting a bunch of storage parts. So hopefully I can find some more carbon for all the steel that I'm going to start going through. Yeah, lots of steel, diamonds, perfect Larimar, maybe even a couple of 16K storage bits. Don't know whether we'd go for the 64. That's a fluid. No, that's a normal one. But I have some ideas about maybe having a bit of fun uh, with a storage room made out of blocks instead. So I'll see how I feel about that. We can make ourselves one of these pretty easy and a grid pretty easily too, because we just got a pog. But that grafting grid, you know what? Before we finish up, let's do this. Pog. Let's make... One, two, three, four, five, six more of those. A perfect echo. And there we go. An echo pog ready to go for the next episode, getting our way into refined storage and truly, finally, getting ourselves permanently out of the dirt and into something a little bit more substantial. So I hope you folks enjoyed this. I hope you like the look of this area and see the potential for it in the future. It is far from finished and it's going to be something that we tweak and fiddle with over a very long period of time, making it look natural, adding walkways and rooms and all sorts of stuff, as well as all of this surround. I think I might even make a tower on top of here, but that's for down the line. So I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You guys are amazing and I genuinely appreciate it. And everyone who's been watching the series, I hope you've been having fun. So with that being said, until the next episode, I hope you all take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. <laughs> bye bye everyone. Uh, whoop.